hopefully this is working. Hi guys, Todd here, vlog time, and 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 him, the boss. Uh, now I'm recording this on my my crappy old webcam, and 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 because I'm, this is a what I used to call a lazy man's vlog in that. Uh, I don't do any editing or anything like that. I just record this, then I upload it to YouTube, and boom, there you go, job done. So I apologise for the poor lighting. Possibly may actually be better than normal. Uh, and I, I, I apologise if I don't do any fancy up-close shots, or if I moan about focus, or, or or all that interesting stuff that, that some people seem to care about. Uh, I'll see if, uh, yep, that's working. Is this working? Yes, that's working as well. Uh, that's working. He's fast asleep. Uh, we'll go back to this one. Yes, we need this one. I need to adjust focus. There we go. That's that. Got. Yeah, we're, we're, we're almost done. We're almost ready. Okay. And it sounds like the planes have their change in direction in Edinburgh Airport and which way the planes go in and out. So it may get noisy here. I humbly apologise. Uh, one thing I will mention before we kick off is that right now, and I'm just going to check this out, there is a charity raffle going just now. Uh, if you go into the, the channel, if you've not already seen it, my YouTube channel, uh, I think we're at... That must... Oh, I forget what the total was at. That must be about £900 that's already been raised in this charity raffle. So thank you to those people that have entered into that. Thank you so, so much. Uh, it does have another week and a half to go, I think. Uh, so, yes. And, and all the money goes to Dementia UK. And once again, um, this is a, a squonker. Elemental Mod Squonker. It's one of the... It's bloody gorgeous. Uh, it is gorgeous. And uh, like all Anthony's stuff from Elemental Mods, it is finished um, to the perfection. Uh, also included in that, you can also win a 7 uh, from Statquam. Uh, Chris at Statquam did give this to me to include in a charity raffle. So even though he, um, yeah, I'll, I'll not say bad things about Chris because Chris gave me something to include in a charity raffle. Um, so that's that. Yes, plug, plug, plug. Give me your money. Give it all to Dementia UK. I'll be happy. Vaping. <laughs> what is going on vaping? I'm, I'm just closing windows down here because you don't need to see all that. Um, I've got lots of vaping stuff to show you. Once again, once again, I'll say this. Uh, I said this in my last vlog. I'll say it in this one. I am not a vaping advocate. I am not somebody that um, gets involved in the political side of things. And as, as much as some things may disgust me and may upset me, I don't have a voice. It's not that I don't have a voice. I don't think I'm... Yes... I'm not in, I'm just not good at that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm just not good at that kind of thing. So I, I avoid it. It's as simple as that. Uh, everything that's going on in America just now is horrendous. And you know, as well as I do, that it's all related to money and it's uh, corrupt governments and it's, it's sickening. It's, it's absolutely sickening. And I feel for anybody that is affected and that cannot actually go and it's not so much the people that are already vaping because more often than not, the people that are already vaping will always find a workaround. It's the people that are wanting to get off cigarettes and start vaping that will suffer the most. And that's wrong. That's very, very wrong. So, yeah. Write to people. Just write to people. I think, is it Kassa? I'm sure Kassa have got the uh, email templates and, and instructions on how you can join that fight and how you can do the right thing. So uh, go off and check that out. Uh, can you hear that? That's the play. It's, it's got very foggy here. Um, so they changed the, the runway. Anyway, you don't need to know about that. What's been happening vape-wise? Well, I'm still going with the... Wait. The dot mod AIO. 
are still going with that. Uh, I am using the rebuildable section and I am using the zero the, the supplied coils as well. I like the device very, very much. I am quite a fan. Um, it is, it, yeah, condensation. I get condensation build up in it. Uh, the RBA section really suffers from condensation um, and it's like, it's kind of like a billet box in that respect. Sometimes, depending on if you're if you're mouth to lung in and whatnot, you, it doesn't seem to be that bad. If but if you're longer pools, higher temperatures, um, then the heat build up in there, you're getting condensation, sweating, and so on. And and I think it's a yes, it's a downfall. It's it's but I still I still think it's a good device. Still like using it. Um, so still going with that. Um, there's nothing else up there that you need to worry worry about. Why should you worry about what's on my shelf? Uh, everything else is down here. Now, where'd I start? Where'd I start? I'll show you this. I've not actually shown... Normally I show everything off in my Facebook group when it comes in the door, but uh, I've not actually shown this off. So let, let me get... Let me get me... Uh, clean, clean the old spectacles because I can't see anything without them up close. So we'll get these clean. Um, and, and we'll show you some, some fancy stuff. Some awfully fancy stuff came in. Right, let's let's go for up close stuff. Uh, here we go. Right, there is a mod, a, a, a modder, MBL Mods. Uh, now this just arrived. This, I mean, I'm talking this, you know, within half an hour, uh, this just arrived. And I'm just sorting out my focus and so on here. So MBL mods, you find them on Facebook. And as usual, um, uh, there, there's no information came with it. I, I'm sure I say to these guys, always include the technical spec because that way I can tell people about your mod and how it was made and all the rest of it. But I'll get all that information for the review. But, um, oh my. Ooh. Right, and I, I, I'm obviously this. Not nothing here is a review, okay? The, none of this. This is me showing you stuff that I'm playing with. I've not formed an opinion on anything, uh, and and you'll have to wait for a review. Uh, that's just the way it works. But uh, this is just an out the box. You, you're basically seeing this as oh the Luso. That that's a nice nice block of wood. Oh. Oh, I like that. Um, it's a DNA 60, I think, pretty sure. Oh, I've got different coloured wood. Oh, matching wood down the bottom. Uh, same as the firing button up here. Tactile switches, I'm not 100% uh, on that. I don't know how I feel about that. Normally, I don't like seeing them there. Uh, I would almost prefer them in the bottom. So we just had this fire button here. Um, that's 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 actually very pretty. I'm not sure. Let's say I'm not sure how I feel about the tactile buttons there, but that that's going to be a, a really nice right hand. Yeah, eighteen six fifty by the looks of it. It's a box. There's no two ways about it. It's a box. Um with a curved back uh, but that is that firing button is absolutely gorgeous I like that it, it is do you not think I mean put in the comments say what you think because uh, sometimes I'm just speaking to myself and the dog um, I, I don't know whether that was a brave decision to have the, the tactile buttons there you know, you could do the same as everybody else and stick them in the bottom. I mean, that's what everybody else does now. That used to be the way back, you know, a few years back. So is this coming back into fashion? Is it, um, what do you think? I'll have an opinion for the review. That's the, but right now, I'm just going to put this here, out of harm's way, uh, before I lose it or break it, which uh, seems to be the way of things just now. 
I, really, I just, I'm terrible. I mean, things arrive. If you gave me something, anything, a box, a cardboard box, and told me to to play with it, just go and play with that cardboard box. I, I could, and and it would it would be fine. It'd be fine after half an hour of playing with that cardboard box. No issues. If you put a webcam on me, I guarantee you in 30 seconds that cardboard box would be on fire. It, it's just a curse. Whenever I do live things, things break. So it, it's just a curse. Uh, DNA Go. Uh, just a Delrin one just arrived from Raphael, 67 mods. Uh, so this arrived yesterday and in the space of 24 hours um, I have I flattened out the 510 spring and um, so I had to disassemble it and it was my fault because I took a screwdriver to it to play with it when I shouldn't have so I unscrewed stuff I broke it I fixed it and then about an hour ago I, I, I dropped the, the battery cap on the floor in the shed can't find it I've, I've no idea where it is it's just when things fall on a shed floor it's like they fall into another dimension they just disappear forever and that's what's happened it's gone gone I don't so um I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> but the DNA go like I say this is a little Delrin one uh it's an 18350 uses the DNA go board uh it's a dinky wee thing I said, I, I kind of like the DNA Go board. I mean, you're looking at 30 watts. Was it 30 watts? And then you had a boost as well that could take it up higher. But yeah, you're using 18350 batteries. Um, and you can go into eScribe and set up your profiles and all the rest of it. Simple little device, but um, it's cute as a button. Really, it's cute. If you're not an 18350 battery fan, it's not for you. But uh, I'll have a video review for this. As soon as I find the battery cap, <laughs> I don't know where it is. It's just, it's somewhere in the shed. It's somewhere in the shed. Um, so that's a bit of a uh, la di da uh, DNA go things. Other things I can show you. Uh, this arrived. Uh, there'll be a review for this this week or next week, I should say. Saturday, Friday today, next week. Uh, this the the intake jewel. From uh, Mr. Mr. Vapes, Mr. M. Vapes, and is it Og Vape that are doing? Was it Og Vape? Can't remember. Forgotten. Um, sure it is. Let's... There we go. Right. Let's let's have a little black. I'm at 50, 54 watts just now. Um, I'm. This is my first build in it. Uh, I used the supply coils that came with it. I was, uh, uh, I, I gave a big two thumbs up to the intake, the, the single coil version. I liked it a lot. Uh, and I will say that this is like, it's like a postless deck setup going on. I, I'm pretty sure there's already reviews up and I know Mike did a, did a presentation. Um, the airflow is still, Similar to the, the single coil one, it's got that even fully open here. Go fully open. Do it. There we go. It's still a restricted direct lung, which I like a lot. And I can close it down to, let's go halfway here, just halfway. And it's nice. And the flavor from the dual coil is, whilst it's not my, it's a bit hot for me just now. That's that's a it's a very nice vape from that. He did, I, I I mean don't get me wrong. I am um, when I say this I'm not um, being a a heartless dick or anything like that. I'm normally not. A, I I have my own opinion on reviewers uh, putting their name and stuff for design. No, I have my opinion on it. Uh, but I I will say that um, the intake from Mike, the first one and this one, very good. They're very good. Quite impressed. 
Uh, so, uh, but uh, that was the, and that's one of my, yeah, I don't know why I've got a bit of tape in the back of this. I think I put that on there by, maybe this will be the day I take that bit of tape off. There we go. The bit of tape is now off. Uh, yeah, the Triad DNA 250C. Um, love that mod. Absolutely love it. Uh, other things. What other? I've got lots of other things I can show you. Um, how about. I've shown you this already. Did I, and I keep forgetting the name of it. And yes, I know. I know the name is written on the front. It's the. The, the Onega 2 by Sunbox. Um, it's a uh, die codes board inside and it's side by side action and I've got the Evil Reaper V3 in there just now and uh, yes I kind of like this mod a lot the only thing I'm struggling with still is is the, the firing button here you have to reach round and fire there but I, I bought this for myself uh, but I will do a review for it um, other side by side action that did occur. This came in, I can't remember if I showed you this two weeks ago or not. Uh, it's Friday, Catholics everywhere. Hurrah, it's the fish van. Um, sorry, do, do, you get a, do you get a fish van? I've asked you that before. Um, anyway, there we go. This is uh, from Fakir's Mods. This is another Die Codes mod and it's absolutely gorgeous. And how they got this the same size as the mechanical version, I'll never know. There'll be a review for this. And I've also got the Ion V2 that I have to do a review for as well. So there's a couple of more things that shall be getting reviewed. Um, today, uh, today uh, this came in. The, oh, let's see if I can get up, up and close thing working. Is this, is this, is this focus? Ooh, oh, that, that's a bit better. It's not the best focus under the sun, but uh, maybe it's just because I haven't got my glasses on. Yes, this is uh, the Project X, a mouth to lung from Hassar Vapes. Um, now I did do a, a live in my Facebook group and, and spoke about this. And I will say that the O-rings, the everything moving in here, everything is bang on. Um, even just having a look at the deck and everything, they've come, their stuff just gets better and better and better every time. Um, I, I have a lot of time for the Hussar guys, really do, and I think their work just gets better and better. And I'll let you know how I get on. This is mouth to lung. This is mouth to lung. I've still to put a build in it. I've still to, they gave me lots of goodies to go with it, inserts and different caps and so on. So. I'll, I'll, there will be a video for this as well. Um, I don't know when, but there will. There will be a video for it. Uh, so I'll, I'll pop this here just now. Yes, there we go. You stay there. And they sent chocolate, which is always a good thing. It's always a good thing. Um, now, did I, did I, did I, did I, did I, did I show you this? Did I show you that? God, I can't even remember the name of it now. Totally gone out my head and there's another plane. This just goes from bad to worse. Where's the box for it? I had a box, I can't even see where the box is. I will, I will, I, I should really edit this and put in. Uh, remember the guys, the um, Volute, was it Volute mods? Um, they had the mission, was it the, the mission XIV? 14. Um, well, this this was their... When I did the review for this little RDA, I did mention that there was a guy that was doing... Still stainless steel insert there, but was doing a wooden top cap. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> a wooden top cap for the Atty as well. Well, not only does he do a wooden top cap, but he does a wooden mod to go with it. Look at that, how, how, how absolutely gorgeous is that? Focus, damn you. Oh, it's written on it. Hang on, hang on. Oh, we might have a lifesaver here. Um, oh, Sigboy. That, was it Sigboy? I 
Uh, hopefully you can make that out. That's the name of the company. I should have guessed. It's going to be written in the mod, which is always a lifesaver for me. Um, the only thing... I, I will do a review for, for this, show this off to you. The only thing I'm not a fan of is that there's no adjustment. The adjustment for the, the throw or, or the length of battery means that you have a gap at the bottom here. Can you see that gap there? I'm not a fan of that, especially when it's a beautiful wooden mod like this. Um, I wish there was an internal adjustment. You know, if they just made the the wooden tube just a little bit longer and had internal adjustment on the switch, and that way you wouldn't end up with this gap. Uh, but it, it's it's absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I need a vape. I did. Um, sorry, I'm just tidying up behind myself here, or I'll end up losing everything like battery caps and so on. I did buy myself a uh, Fogstar. Uh, we're doing a cracking deal on the Molly Cell batteries. Was it this week or last week? Uh, I think it was 25% or 30% off. It, it was a, or maybe even more, but it was a brilliant buy. Uh, so I bought myself seven Molly Cell 18650s. I think it came out to something like £30 or £34, which is an insane price, uh, especially for these batteries because they are very, very good. Uh, so a big thumbs up to Fogstar. Because um, I'm from Fife in Scotland and we're tight. We're very tight. And and, and so, yes, there we go. We need to save our pennies uh, because we have to buy cars. Uh, this is totally off and out tangent. Um, sold my car it's gone my old drugs mobile is now gone um which is, is, is such a shame because it 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 really did serve me well uh i know i know nobody cares about these things but i love talking about cars and and it just makes me happy uh, where's do i have any old photos I'm trying to find an old photo that I can actually bring up and show you. I don't know if this will work. Sorry, I'm not very good at this technical stuff. Um, <laughs> no, it, it's there's something wrong with the size here. That 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 is not right. That is not the size of the car. <laughs> can I adjust that? Please tell me I can adjust that. That that that's about right. That's about the size of it. That was my old car. I had that for two and a half, three years. Um, and the strange thing is, is the guy that bought it used to own it. How weird is that? How the chances of that happening? He contact. I had it advertised for less than a day. He contacted me on Facebook, appeared in the door, gave me money, and disappeared. He he was the happiest guy under the sun. Uh, so so that that was that was good um i did end up uh because i'm at that age uh where <laughs> i'm at that stage in my life where i'm now going through wanting to do all the things that i did or couldn't do when i was 21 and one of the things i always wanted when i was 21 was a big grand tourer sports car uh or a grand tourer with big deep dish alloys, lots of silly stick on bits and um, and a convertible. So that's what I did is I, I went out and bought myself uh, an old um, an old bus. The strange thing is it this is the exact same chassis as the car I just sold. It's the exact same engine. The only difference is it's got the roof comes off and it and it looks like it belongs to a porn star from the 80s or a, or a failed footballer from the 90s it's just <laughs> don't laugh I'm happy it's not I'm happy so what more can you ask for um, vaping I think we'll go back to vaping I'm going to show you something here which is extremely um, gorgeous very beautiful and and it's not my car it's um, 
Something from Young Marco at Visionary Mods. Um, this is... This is the Bally. Uh, this is an out-of-focus Bally. There we go. Um, this is a single 18650, DNA 60. Uh, young Marco is... See the instep there? See the little step there? This the the wood on this is the it has been coated. It's got like that CE finish on it, um, and it, that's the Integra that's on top of it just now. But you can see the shine from that. Stunning! It, it is absolutely stunning. Uh, I, I'm very. I like Marco a lot. He's a good lad. He's a nice lad, uh, and. Um, I've reviewed a mechanical squonker. Oh, how long ago was that now? Was that a year, two years ago? Uh, he's come a, a, a long way. He really has come a long way. God, I needed that. I haven't. I have, that's the first vape I've had. How long have I been going for? Jesus, about 26 minutes. Um, so there we go this is there will be a review for this for sure and i just like pretending that i'm dropping it just to put the wind up marco oh other thing the um, integra i still there are i don't do lists recommendations and things like that i just don't because all my thoughts are in videos if you want to know how I feel about something, go and watch the review. If I've not done a review for it, then I don't have an opinion on it as such because I've never reviewed it. Um, so please don't ask me what I like the best. If I did do lists and, and spoke about my favourites, one of my favourite RTAs for this year would be the Integra. I still think it is tremendous. It really is. They did a great job in this one. Um, so, there we go. Integra, The Ballet by Visionary Mods. Uh, you'll find Marco on Facebook. Um, right. How we doing? Are we, are, do we have much left? Actually, now, there, there was... I don't do juice. I don't... I vape pretty much the same stuff. I, I'm either vaping goose juice by Quackster, uh, Quack's Juice Factory. So Goose Juice, kind of a custard. Uh, Nata from Hayes Town. Um, uh, another custard that is made by a lovely lady, uh, The Boss, uh, which is you can't really buy. And and, and probably some something by uh, Mr. Mark White, Crack, a Crack Juice. Um, that's kind of it. And Bob, I do vape some of Bob's stuff. Um, and then I've got Regency, which um, obviously I vape the custards because I like the custards. And, uh, and and obviously because I'm involved with that company, I should really mention it more often. Actually, this vlog was brought to you by Regency. Not very good at this sales promotion stuff. I'll keep going. Um, so... Other vape stuff that I was going to mention was juice with the visionary mod. Um, glasses. I need glasses. This stuff got sent on. Um, it is strawberries, cream, custard and milk. This is... Now they sent on some other stuff as well. Uh, go look for where where are we? Um, get the focus. Get the fo where are where is it? Go and look for cloud vapor. Is it cloud vapor? Did I have a search for the seller on? Go have a search for cloud vapor. Um, this is gorgeous juice. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I, I've forgotten the name already and I just spoke about this earlier on in my live stream but you know the little sweeties that come individually wrapped and uh, they've got the... Ah, oh, what was the name? 
somebody's going to write it in the comments and I'm just going to go, ah, um, strawberry and cream, a little strawberry and cream sweetie individually wrapped. Absolutely beautiful sweets. Eat them by the bucket load. That is exactly what this juice tastes of. It, I've got to go and find this. I feel like a, a complete, is it? There we go. Arabi arabesque. Arabesque liquids. Um, I don't know if there's anybody that sells them, sells it over this way or, or in the EU as such. Um, I can find a Facebook page, but it's 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 certainly not in. Uh, yes, I I have absolutely no idea what any of this is, says or, or or is about. But somehow this juice ended up in my lap. Stunning, and I don't get excited about e liquid. I really don't. Uh, but then uh, this was gorgeous, or is gorgeous. Um, we're getting there. We're almost done. We're almost done. I'll forget something. <laughs> I almost forget something. Uh, here we go. Let's show it to you. I'm sure you've seen it shown off elsewhere already, but we have the MVP version five here. Bada boom. It is um, 5,200 milliamp hour internal battery. And as, you know, MVP, uh, you can charge other devices with the battery inside this. It's two amp charging. Um, it's, I've absolutely no idea how, how high the wattage goes on it, probably 200. Uh, uh, it has a compass sensor inside it, so, Yes, it has a compass inside it. It also has, uh, and if, if you uh, suffer from epileptic flits, flits, fits or things like that, look away from the screen now, because it has a torch on it. And I've not figured out how to just make it a normal torch. If I hold my finger in the button, is that going to change it? No, it just keeps flashing really fast. The menu system is nice, clean and simple. The interface is, uh, I have no issues with that at all. And it's, it's like a metal casing on it. It's, it's not overly heavy. I'll give it that. It actually comes with a tank called the, the Q-Jax. I think it's the Q-Jax, this thing. Uh, but they've actually got a resin airflow control ring on it, resin drip tip, to go with the resin on this mod. And I just tried screwing that into the light there. Listen, it's a box. Uh, they've got they've gone for this whole outdoor thing. Uh, you can see on here, you know, they've got go farther, uh, outdoor adventures. And then we've got um, mountains on the side there and torches and compasses and and put your phone in silent because somebody's desperate to have a conversation with me here and it's just going to keep beeping. Uh, so yes, there we go. I, I, I can't like, I, I like the MVP. I've, I've still got my four, which is still going. Um, I still use this. It's gone away on holiday with me a few times. The The battery is dying in it now, but um, the MVPs have never been pretty. They've never been pretty, never have been. The, that, that's not the point to them. That, that really isn't the point. Uh, the MVP is the battery life and, and that it can take a kicking or take a beating. Will it take as much of a beating as say uh, an Aegis? I don't know yet. I really don't know. Um, but you will be the first to know when I find out. But yeah, there we go, the MVP5. I don't know about the torch and the compass and 
Do we re do we need that? Do we do we really need it? I don't know. Hey ho. Anyway, that's that. That's me done, done and dusted. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to show you. I'm absolutely positive I've covered everything. I've bored you with talk about cars. I've tried to talk about things happening in America and failed as I normally do. The only thing I haven't mentioned, where's it gone? I have to mention this because, um, ah, damn, where is it? There it is. Okay, we just need to point out here. There is a man in England, his name is John, and he owns a company called Evil, and he makes the Evil Reaper V3. John also now makes, I'm, I'm taking the piss here because John's a wind-up merchant and he's always taking the piss out of me or extracting the urine, as we say. Uh, so this is this is John's new a little tanky-poo. Um, excuse the drip tip, that's one of, uh, I can't remember where that came from. Uh, but the short and sweet version is that this is the evil twin. You can see there it looks identical to the Evil Reaper V3. The main difference is, is that it takes Nautilus coils. Uh, it takes Nautilus coils. So I should... Well, I'll, I'll, let's let's have a vape with the, the MVP5 because this is obviously the kind of device that you would pair this with. Uh, it's the select. How do, how do I adjust the wattage in this? There we go, we'll take this down to, there we go. So, it, I mean, that's the Reaper V3 in there. Cross compatibility with the tanks, should point that out. It also comes with inserts so that you can take it down to a, a true and proper mouth to lung vape. Go and fly over somebody else's shed. Please. They must wait until they know I'm recording these things and then think, I know what we'll do. We'll go and screw with Todd today. Anyway, we'll have a vape. And that is a, a, a Nautilus vape. That's a Nautilus coil. I'd like... Remember things like the Kabuki and things like that, where the the that it's it's almost like a a posh version of you know a, a Nautilus tank. It's kind of along those lines. Um, I like the fact that the parts are interchangeable, and most of the parts are interchangeable with the Reaper V3. And I think it's coming in about forty five pounds, which I think is a fair price for it. And uh, but no matter how much I'm enjoying vaping with it and how much I actually like it, John's still a fanny. He's he's just it's yes he is. I'm sorry. <laughs> he knows he know. <laughs> you you wouldn't believe the abuse I take from that man. You really would not believe it. What what he actually sent me uh, to eat. What was it? He wanted me to eat it live on camera, but I refused to. It was a packet of deep fried insects. Um, he's twisted. He's absolutely twisted. And I love him to bits. Um, that's me. I'm going to go now. I've spoken enough. I've probably said things I shouldn't have said. I've forgotten things that I should have said to forget about. And none of this is making any sense anymore. I'm going to push the stop recording button. So from uh, him... He doesn't like rainy days. It is bucketing down here. Uh, and me, uh, we shall catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching as always, guys. Bye for now.